Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. Got a Smith Corona 5 series right here, and it's got a common problem. Uh, the mainspring draw band is off. So the drawstring back here got knocked off. It's still connected over here, and it's still one piece. I have secured it right there. So it's connected over on the far side still and running under the carriage and sitting right here not connected to the draw uh, mainspring here. The mainspring is seized up on this. This is real common with this series of machines, especially when they've been sitting for a long time and then you go to use it or to break it out and use it and that's when the draw band comes off because the mainspring never turns. It's, it's frozen and that's the case with this one and I tried flushing it in the machine. Usually that I can free those up but this one did not free up, so I'm going to have to get more aggressive. I already got it loose and out of here. This is pretty easy to get out of here with a couple screws. Other models, the later models are a little trickier. So this is the all metal version here. And uh, the spring inside here is the same as the later versions, but it's in this housing. And it's got this little mechanism here that locks the mainspring in place and you move this little tab right here to get that bracket to come free and you can ratchet this around and tighten it up so you move this you bend this piece out of the way here right there like that and then that piece will and that piece is stiff too. Um, since this is frozen on the shaft here, oh well, there it goes. Well, oh, it's the nuts. The nuts loose here, so um, it's still frozen. I'm going to remove this this whole assembly. Just get it out of the way. I think I'm going to. Yeah. That way I don't have to deal with uh, ratcheting that. So I'm just going to remove that. So now this will un undo the nut here. I think it's already loose. There it is. Yeah. Undo the nut. And then this should unscrew out of here. Okay, now this piece, the mainspring will come off if you manipulate it one way or the other. It comes off that little, that little cutout matches up with this little tab right there. Now the problem with this is this screw is frozen in here. And maybe it's loosened up now. Nope. I'm trying to flush it. And it won't, it won't budge. So you might be able to use some penetrating oil and, and let it soak in there. It might work. I already let it soak a little while, and it didn't work. So I'm going to try heating this up real quick. So I'm going to apply some heat right to this collar, and hopefully it will liquefy the oil that's in there. And we'll see if we can get this to a. Uh, to free up that way. Get a torch to light up here. Okay, so I'm going to heat this up. I might have to get something to hold this thing. In case it gets hot. So I'm just going to heat this little collar portion up here. It's 
it's turning. It's hot. It's turning. Like the center in there. That is tight. It's turning, but it's still not coming out of there. Huh. It's pretty hot still. Wow, it's just gummed in there. Feels like it's loosening up a little there, Coast. There it goes, right there. That is probably the tightest one I've ever seen. All happy now. So that oil just froze up on that shaft in there and just sealed this thing. A little bit of heat, a little bit of lack of center. Ready to be re reassembled. I gotta flush all these parts out. This thing's got some potential rust, looks like, so I'm gonna flush that. And this part's also got oil caked on here. So that's what it took a little bit of heat to get that to uh, come loose. All right, Phoenix typewriter. Good day.